tell me, hair in front or hair behind? Let's go front. Okay, I never do it straight. This is so rogue for me. It's very different to your last look. It is very different. I know, I'm just so versatile. Like vitamin A. No, <laughs> vitamin B. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to Skincare Nerds. I'm Joanna and today we're gonna to be talking about vitamin B3, or you might know that ingredient better as niacinamide. If you're into skincare, as I said, you might know vitamin B3 better as niacinamide. So this is a water soluble vitamin that can literally work with any other ingredient in your skincare routine. That's what I love about it. It's super versatile, but super effective as well. There isn't much that niacinamide can't do. This ingredient is one of my favorites. I swear by it for anyone starting on a skincare routine. It can help treat uneven skin tone. It brightens the complexion, helps to balance oil production. Um, it can improve the appearance of enlarged pores. It really is a powerhouse ingredient. But my favorite thing about niacinamide is how it protects and supports the skin's delicate barrier. So this helps to prevent dehydration and inflammation in the skin, which makes it an excellent ingredient for acne prone skin types or sensitive skins like people prone to rosacea like me. I rely on it to calm my skin and add a boost of radiance to my complexion. And you do look radiant. And I do look radiant. <laughs> <laughs> Often those with acne prone skin will be susceptible to having an impaired barrier at some point. So this might lead to a bit of a vicious cycle with acne, slow healing and scarring as well. The reason why niacinamide is so good for acne prone skin types is because it's anti-inflammatory. So it can help to calm down those blemishes, take that inflammation out of the skin. And by supporting the skin's barrier, it actually also helps to speed up healing time. And it offers brightening properties to help prevent that post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation that you might get from blemishes. You know, those little red and brown spots that get left behind after a pimple. It can help with that too. This ingredient also helps to balance oil production and can reduce the appearance of enlarged pores. So again, that's just a bonus for acne prone skin types. As I said earlier, this ingredient is really versatile and it works well with literally every other skincare ingredient. I mean, your retinols, your hyaluronic acid, your AHAs, your BHAs, the list goes on. It can be used pretty much with anything. That's why this ingredient is so easy to add into your skincare routine because it'll literally just complement all the other products that you're using. So you can introduce it AM and PM daily or either AM or PM, whatever you prefer. It's tolerated really well by sensitive skin types, so it really is suitable for everybody. Depending on the product you're using, you'll probably notice a brighter, more even, more hydrated complexion in probably a week, I would say. A week to two weeks, you'll notice a difference. If you're not using anything, you would notice it straight away. Luckily for all of us, niacinamide is really well tolerated by most skin types, even sensitive. I have rosacea and I can use niacinamide as a calming ingredient but it also works really well with ingredients like hyaluronic acid, B5, and what was the other ingredient? Oh, it was just hyaluronic acid and B5. <laughs> We're nearly done actually, That's so this should be a quick one. <laughs> but as I said, even sensitive skins can tolerate this ingredient without irritation, and it works really well with other ingredients like B5 and hyaluronic acid. If you watched our video on vitamin A, which I'll link here, you might be wondering if there's any downsides to using niacinamide and to be quite honest, I can't think of any. If you are really sensitive, you might find that you get a little bit of irritation, but only in a really high concentration. So go for it with this ingredient is my advice. Anyone who knows me knows I love ASAP. So this is one of my favorite products with niacinamide in it. It's the ASAP Super B Complex. This is probably my holy grail serum, I would say. This also has B5 and hyaluronic acid in it. So it's really calming, brightening, and hydrating. What does it smell like? B? Mm. Uh, nothing really. Good. It's like maybe a green tea scent. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's really light. The next product I love to recommend is Medicaid's Clarity Peptides. This contains quite a high formulation of niacinamide at 10%, and it also contains mineral zinc to help balance the skin and prevent blemishes. And my last babe, which I don't have here with me, is Aspect Extreme B17. So this one also contains a lot of botanical extracts to brighten the skin, and it smells like Barocca. <laughs> yeah, it does. Which flavor of Barocca, the orange one? Yeah. I th yeah, I think so. The original? <laughs> Have you ever been tempted to eat it? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Do not recommend consuming for energy. <laughs> so if you're on the lookout for an ingredient that's going to brighten your skin, improve pigmentation, improve acne, I could continue to go on, niacinamide is the ingredient for you and it can just be easily added into your routine. Niacinamide, um, that's a wrap. 
Thanks for watching Skincare Nerds. I'm Joanna. If you have any more questions about niacinamide, you can leave them in the comments below.